Hey everybody, welcome to AuthorStrong.com where we give authors the tools they need to succeed. My name is Matt Morris and today we're going to be taking a regular flat book cover and turning it into a pretty 3D book cover. And we're going to be doing it for free using an online tool called Pixlr.com. Now what I have here is I have Bootstrapping for Indies written by my good friend Simon Whistler, the host of the Rocking Self-Publishing Podcast. And it's is a book that he just came out with. It's a great guide on how to get started if you don't have a huge budget. And best of all, he's given the book away for free. So check the description below and you're going to find a, a download link where you can click through to Amazon and purchase that book for free. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this. So the first thing that we're going to have to do to create the 3D cover is we need to go ahead and download a template uh, that we're going to follow. So go ahead and go to, we're going to go to a website, psdcovers.com. And if you have Photoshop, uh, this is a wonderful website. If you have a Photoshop, they actually give you actions that you can download that will essentially create these things for you. But uh, we're not going to be using Photoshop today. We're going to be using Pixlr. And so instead, I'm going to go to one here that I've already kind of found that I like. It's going to be this one right here, the paperback 003. So normally if you wanted to download the action, you would go here, download and read. And All right, instead what we're actually going to do is we're going to, for whatever reason, there's an error here. So hold command, um, I think control will do it on a Windows, hold command and then click it and that'll open it in a new tab here. So that'll open just this image file. Uh, and what we can do then is we can actually just download this image file, save image as. And I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And it's that easy. We now have a little template that we can use uh, going forward. So we're gonna to go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. Go to this editor right here. And this is a really easy to use, uh, basic photo editing app, free to use. Um, Similar to Photoshop, if you're familiar with Photoshop, there's gonna be a lot of things in here that are similar. I'm not gonna go into detail explaining a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna take us through this one thing. We're just gonna open image from computer, desktop. We're gonna open this one right here. That's the image that we've just saved. So kind of get these out of the way here. And so this is what we're gonna be using to create as a template. And all we're gonna do now is go to layer, open image as layer, go ahead and open my cover here. So this is the cover. It's hard to see because of the size. I actually don't like it there in max, let's do it like this. So now what we're gonna do, really, really simple. Um, let's go ahead and go up to image and then we're gonna do Uh, sorry, excuse me, go to edit, go to free, uh, free transform and hold the shift key when you do this. And what this is going to let us do is it's just going to let us resize this down a little bit. I just want to try and I want to be able to see everything on the screen right now. Okay. Make sure you're holding shift when you do that. If you don't hold shift, it'll distort it. So hold shift. It'll keep all the proportions the same. And so now we are here. Hit the enter key and that'll lock the changes in a place. And now what we're going to do is going to go to edit, free distort. And what this is going to let us do is it's going to let us just drag one corner at a time. And so all we're going to do is we're going to line these corners up as best as possible to the corners of the book. And one of the problems with Pixlr that at least is better in Photoshop right now, we can't zoom in, unfortunately. Um, we can't zoom in while we're doing this right now, but that's okay. So we're going to just get this as close as we can and then hit the enter key to lock it into place. And then what we're going to do is now we can zoom in and I'm holding the space bar to move it around. Same, same key as you would do in, in Photoshop, hold the space bar so you can click and drag and then get up here so I can see both those corners a little bit closer. And now we're going to go to edit free to start again. And I'm just trying to make sure I get these just like right on those corners. And you'll notice that this one, when you lock it into place, it, it, 
it will keep the rectangle, right? So it still has those blue dots lining up to each other. But since it's distorted, it's a little off key. So if you don't see it down at the corner where you think it would be, just look up a little bit. So again, just get that as close as possible there. Hit the enter key to lock it in. Uh, now hold space bar, we're gonna drag down here again. We're gonna do the same thing here at the bottom. You see how right there, you can probably see there's a little bit of a, where I, where I had it off. Okay, so now edit, free distort, and just match that up a little bit better. Again, this is one of the shortcomings of Pixlr versus Photoshop, where in Photoshop you can actually zoom in really close while you're on the distort screen, and it won't uh, it won't have any issues. All right, hit the Enter key. Now we can zoom back out, and we are done. And that's that's as easy as it is. All you have to do now is go to File, Save. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. Um, I always choose just highest quality. Get the highest quality image out there. Save it on my computer. We'll call this bootstrapping. Bootstrapping. There we go. <laughs> 3D. Click the OK button, and just save it on my desktop. And now, what you will see, here it is. And it was as easy as that. As always, if you found this tutorial to be helpful, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button on YouTube and then leave us a comment. Let us know if there's any other videos you'd like to see made or anything else regarding publishing or writing that you'd like to know a little bit more about. We'll go ahead and get a video put together for you on that. Also, head over to our website, authorstrong.com, and sign up for the newsletter. We've got a lot of new exciting stuff coming out. Uh, got some big announcements coming up here in the very near future. You don't want to miss out on those, I promise. Sign up for that newsletter. You're going to be able to stay up to date with us and, and all the cool things we've got going on. Thanks. Have a great day.